Welcome back to Google Guru. If you haven't had the chance to join us before, just want to quickly let you know that Google Guru is an informational video series where, you'll, where we'll teach you everything you need to know about Google Apps. So today we're going to talk about a new feature inside of Google Apps that might sound boring, but it's actually very exciting. And that's an end-user browsable directory from within Gmail. In the past, Google Apps has had no true concept of shared contacts across a domain. So, you know, one user might have contacts outside of just the domain's users, and they want to make those contacts available to everyone in the company. So, you know, any given company could have thousands of these shared contacts, um, you know, vendors, customers, any kind of relationship. So I'm going to show you from an admin perspective how to enable shared contacts within your domain, and then from an end user perspective, how you take advantage of this. So we'll pop over to the control panel right here, and we'll go to the settings tab. Click contacts under the services navigation on the left hand side. And then simply click enable contact sharing. You have a few options here. You can show all email addresses. You can hide the primary if the user has a nickname and you can also hide nicknames, which would be the inverse of that. So we'll save this here. Um, one quick tip, if you want to disable contact sharing for anyone in your domain, you can just click on them inside of your organization and users tab and then you can uncheck this box for contact sharing. I'm going to leave it on for everybody though. So from an end user perspective, how you access this is um, from within Gmail actually. So in the new Gmail layout, you can see in the top left we've got mail, contacts, and tasks. I'll click on contacts and then you'll see this has changed. So I have different groups here, but I also have the directory, which will include all of our shared contacts. So I'm in the directory now, and you can see that it's actually only people on the guruvideos.com domain. That's because our company doesn't really have any contacts outside of the company yet. Um, we're just working together. But if um, anyone in your company had added anyone, anyone else, any other email address to their contacts list, those people would show up here. So that's how it works. Hope that was helpful, and as always, you can find more videos at googleguru.com. Thanks.